you will have the opening here at the bottom which is your cutout. I saw this dress online and I thought it was really really cute. I love the length. I have a thing for long garments and I love the hood and the gathered tiers around the bottom of the dress. So I was like, oh, I think I want to try to make something similar. I went to Joanne Fabrics and I picked up this modal knit fabric. I love the color and I thought it would be perfect to try to make up this dress. What I wanted to do was use a pattern that I already had. So I'm going to use two patterns. The first one that I'm going to use is McCall's. Got to get the number off the pattern. What is this? McCall 7061. I'm going to use the dress in this pattern for the upper portion of the dress. I took a measuring tape and I measured from my shoulders down to where I think I want the ruffles to start. And I came up with about 25 inches down. And then I'm going to use McCall's 8214, the ruffles at the bottom of view B. I'm just going to add those to the bottom of this dress. So we'll see how it turns out. Now this pattern is knit, but the ruffle pattern is for woven. But I think it's going to be okay. I think it will work just fine. I marked the new hemline on the front and on the back pattern pieces. And then I did measure across the hemline area on both the front and the back pieces. And I compared it to what is going to be the first ruffle piece. This piece is cut out twice. So I had to make sure I doubled my measurement. And it turns out that this piece is approximately one and a half times the width of the front and back pieces. So that should work out perfectly. To keep my pattern intact, I just folded up the pattern and pinned it down at the new hemline on the front and back pieces. And now these pieces are ready to cut out. I got one tier on with no problem. I did put the hood in. I just need to put the sleeves and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the last tier that goes on the very bottom. This fabric is like buttery soft. I really, really like it. And I love the color. You can add pockets. I don't have pockets on this one. You can also add a drawstring to the hood. I didn't do that either. But the hood is pretty big. Like, it's a pretty big hood. And I did cut out a size small. I don't know if I said that before. But this is the final look. I just don't know what kind of shoes I want to wear with this. Because I feel like it's kind of dressy. But then it has the hood that makes it a little casual. So I'll have to play with shoes. I can probably get away with either dressing it up or dressing it down. But I'm really happy with the dress. I have been loving knit sets. And so I made another set recently. For the pants, I used McCall's 7198. I really love this pattern. And then for the top, I used McCall's 8368. This top has a cutout. It is cropped. And it has a racer front and a racer back. So I decided to lengthen the top and remove the cutout. We're gonna take a closer look at view B here with the cutout. This is your front pattern piece and it has the cutout right here, this curve. So when you're cutting the pattern out, if you want the cutout, you would just cut around this curve. This pattern piece is also cut on the fold. So I went ahead and I traced it now here is the pattern. Once it's been cut out, it will look something like this in fabric. And you will have the opening here at the bottom, which is your cutout. I chose not to have the cutout in this top that I made. So what I did was I just left this bottom piece together and I did not cut around it. And that was how I was able to eliminate the cutout. 
If you have a pattern with a cutout and you think the cutout opening is going to be too big, then you can just draw another line and make the cutout opening smaller. So once you cut on that line, open it up, your original hole was here and now your cutout will be here. So you will close up this opening to make it smaller by doing that. Another thing you can do is add cutouts to pattern pieces. So if this was a dress, this is a mini dress pattern. If you wanted to add cutouts on the side, you would just figure out where you want your cutout to be and then draw a line. You will also have to determine how big or how small you want it, your cutout. So let's just say right here, this is gonna be kind of big for this pattern, but just for example. And then you would just cut this out and you won't have to worry about adding seam allowance to this area unless you're sewing it to something else. But then you would have a cutout on the side of your dress. And then if you wanted another cutout on the other side, you can take the piece that you cut out and put it over here on this side. Make sure it's the equal distance from the top as it is on this side, if that's how you want it. You could make the cutout down here, but if you want them to be equal, then you just make sure they're equal and then cut around it or draw around it before you cut. Draw around your cutout here, then cut it out. Of course, this one is really rough, but I'm just doing this so you can see how it's done. And then you would have a dress with cutouts on the side. Very, very easy to do. I am currently in Alab not Alab Calabasas, California, and my husband has a day planned for us. I am about to get dressed. He told me to wear some like active wear. So I decided to wear these knit pants that I made and a white bodysuit. I'm not sure what we're doing because it's supposed to be like a surprise. And then later we're going to dinner. And for dinner, I'm planning to wear this Nomi dress. And I actually have never worn this before, so my husband hasn't even seen it on me. And I'm excited to wear this, so I'll keep you guys posted and take you with me. I paired the pants with this Nomi jacket in the same fabric, and this was my outfit for the day. Homestyle potatoes? No. Just hash browns? Yeah. We're at Jack in the Box and I was looking on the menu online and it said that they had country potatoes. Homestyle. Homestyle home fries? Potatoes. Homestyle potatoes, right? Yes. And they're chopped potatoes. I got them before, but it was years ago. So yeah, he was checking, but they don't have them. So I just got like a regular hash brown. It looks like the ones that you see at McDonald's. And then we'll be on our way to the site or to the place. And then the cream and sugar is in the back, okay? Thank you. Have a good one. You Oh yeah, and wider, that's true, that's true. Let me say my grace. In the city of Santa Paula, and these are some little rail cars on the train track. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? I have never seen anything like this before. And then they have the little helmets. Hi, I think so. 
Oh, this is going to be so fun. Okay, I'm excited. Something new my husband found. Okay. I don't know how far we're going, but there's a track that way. So, okay. We'll see how this goes. The town looks like it's really small. And there's one other couple that looks like they're waiting to ride on this little thing that we're doing. I don't know what you would call it. Hey baby, I missed your call. I'm sorry, I accidentally hung up on you. Where are you? I'm in the bathroom. Where are you? Oh, you walk, you walk all the way down, like on the side of the building that you checked in. Yeah. You just walk all the way down. Ooh. You keep going way down and then you'll come to it, huh? Pass the depot, pass all the little ditches and stuff. Yes, and then you'll come to a little red building. Uh-huh. And is there a water fountain? I didn't see any water fountain. There's no paper towels or anything either. Okay. Maybe I, I was I, I wasn't sure if that was you. Huh? I said I wasn't sure if that was you or not. Okay. Okay, see you soon. stops including our crossing. I'm the only one with my helmet on. Even my husband doesn't have his helmet on. But I'm safe though. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might end up taking the helmet off because it is kind of warm. Oh, okay, she says she has ice cold waters in her little what is that called? A cooler. A cooler. That's what it is. Me out. He said, show the people you're not pedaling now. Well, I'm slowing down now. Mm -hmm. Don't want to run in front of you. But I've been recording. I've been sharing the experience. Okay, look, he's just trying to show that he's pedaling and I'm not. He's right. He's right. I haven't been. I had to do better. <laughs> just made it to our first stop and they're going to turn the bikes around and then we can head back. It's turning the bike around. I think I'm gonna take my helmet off now. It's getting hot under here. I feel like my head is sweating. Okay, ready to go back. We're on our way back. My husband's hat flew off. I think she got it though. Oh, she got it? Okay, perfect. Why can't you keep your hat on? What's your excuse? I was pedaling so hard by myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we made it to our second stop, which is the petting zoo. And then they have a place where you can pick strawberries. So we're about to buy a container 
and then pick the strawberries. So, oh, I'm excited. My husband asked me if I'm gonna pick strawberries. I am. Oh, here's the little store. Oh, here's some fresh fruit already picked. Vegetables. All kind of nuts, too. Oh, they said that they make their own honey and that they have honey in all types of flavors. So this one says eucalyptus, orange, clover, avocado honey. Never heard of that. This is so interesting. I didn't know you can get honey in different flavors like that. Jerky. Okay, let's see what's out here. More fruit. Okay, they have a lot of strawberries, of course. Okay, watermelon, yum. So all these strawberries here were picked this morning. Oh, wow, okay, they were all picked this morning, okay. God, I went to use the potty and there's a little lizard in here and he scared me to death. He's over there, he's over there. Look at him. Ah! Look, look. You see him? Oh my gosh! Oh, he just went out. Okay, good. Can you those? Yeah, we can. Oh, I thought there was water and stuff in there. No. Well, I see what you mean because they're kind of far. Yeah, we have to reach over. But I want the good ones. Like some of these like still, right they don't look very ripe. Oh yeah, that one is a good one. It's very red. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, okay, don't scare me like that. Look, How that's a good, that? it's so muddy. Look at my foot all in the dirt. Look, get that one, get that one. Here, I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay, wait. Look at us, not normal. Oh it's Lord, oh my God. Ah! Okay, it's soft in here. Oh, they didn't want to come off. Okay, we got our first little one. Okay. okay. Here's another. Now you gotta help me get back because my foot. Look at all that. I told you this way you're gonna kill me. Oh my goodness. Here's another one right here. Looking good. Look at that. Pretty. Okay. All right, so we're gonna keep picking and I'm gonna try not to fall <laughs> in the little strawberry thing. My you okay? Well, yeah, but I'm not. It's like muddy it's wet. and wet, so we have to be careful. My shoes are a wreck. Look at them. Here's one. Here's one. I'll get this one. I'll get this one. Woo! Okay. My husband found this little dry area, so we don't have to worry about slipping in here. Now I just need to find them got a nice little amount oh here's another one it's pretty oh that's a bee i like the dark red ones okay oh here's another one okay this is fine we can go back Next, we went over to Santa Monica. We ate on the pier at Bubba Gump's restaurant. They have these metal plates on the table. And when you want your server to come to you, you flip the plate over to red and they will come and service you. I knew we were going to eat later, so I just ordered some fried pickles. So we just stopped to get a car wash and then we're on our way back to the hotel. Then we're going to shower and freshen up and get ready for dinner.
Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Me too. I feel like I've been snacking all day, so now that we're going to dinner, it's going to be time to like quit snacking and get something real. So it's going to take us 50 minutes about to get to the restaurant, and it's somewhere in West Hollywood. Where we're going, 9201, right? That's right here. Arrived. We stopped by the LA County Museum of Arts to take in the lights. They were so beautiful. There were so many people out taking pictures and just taking it all in. It's definitely a place I would recommend visiting.